For Ball State's men's swimming team, Chris Krupa is one of the fastest swimmers. The sophomore spent the past two years posting times that just keep getting better. Krupa has had plenty of time in the pool all the way back to when he was a kid. Right around when I was about seven years old, my mom, uh, she worked at a like kind of recreation type place, had a pool and all that. So I would go to work with her and uh, she, she she didn't really want me hanging around her office all day, so I would swim literally like all day. While swimming is what the sophomore is known for, it isn't his number one sport. You no, know, I still play soccer today. I've been playing it my whole life. It is, it's pretty much my favorite sport. Despite his passion for the game of soccer, Krupa wound up choosing Ball State for the school's reputation in the classroom. It's not all about athletics, you know, so like when I look at Ball State, like I'm a TCOM major, so I decided, you know, it's probably best for me to focus on my future rather than like just athletics at the, at the moment. The line between the two activities, school and swimming, can often get blurred for the sophomore. In one of my TCOM classes, I actually had to do an autobiography and I actually chose a pool as the kind of lo like the location to talk about my life, what, like what I like to do, what I like to, what I like to see, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, like swimming kind of like intermingles with TCOM and it's, it's my life pretty much. In his time at Ball State, the swimmer has impressed head coach Bob Thomas with his development in and out of the pool. He's really matured, uh, both physically. Uh, his races have uh, improved by leaps and bounds. While Thomas may recall the races, Krupa says that when he's swimming, it's almost as if he's on autopilot. Like right when I'm done, I don't even remember really what I did because I'm so caught up in the moment and the emotion that it just kind of just happens. My body just kind of takes over. While Krupa distinguishes himself in the pool posting fast times, the sophomore says that being an African American distinguishes him out of the pool. Get the, get the feeling that it's not really a black person sport. Like I don't really want to like judge, like do, do all the race card and all that stuff, but I, I think it's important as, as an African American to let other African Americans know that you know, it's, it's not just a white man's sport, you know. And for other African-Americans, Krupa simply says, do what you like. And you're an African-American, don't, don't be hindered by the fact that, you know, the stereotype that African-Americans have to play basketball, because they don't. The young swimmer says that people may not view swimming as a team sport, but everyone is reliant upon their teammates to make it through the season. Like, it can get kind of depressing because, like, you're in here probably, I don't know, sometimes four hours a day swimming back and forth, and it's just the weather outside, winter, no one likes winter, stuff like that. And it can get kind of depressing. But, you know, if you guys, if the team kind of like comes together, starts cracking jokes, do all this stuff, then it kind of makes the time pass a little bit easier. The season will come to a close for Krupa and his teammates in early March. James Ryder, Ball State Sportslink.